Crazy and Rock is mostly in denial about her role in Tamara Braxton's recent Baltimore concert drama. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. The 23-year-old appears to have mistook the show location for the baddies home, as she punched backup singer James Wright Chanel several times after learning she wasn't on the R and B star set list. At this point, everyone except Braxton has spoken out. But on Monday evening, a video surfaced online in which she confirms Rock is to blame for traumatizing her friend and colleague. I wasn't going to say anything out of respect for James. The reality starlet began. He got assaulted um, at my show, and it was by Krishan. She specifically noted before sharing that several events resulted in the chaos that ensued that night. Before getting into the real tea, Braxton acknowledged her team and how much she loves them. I'm not a clout chaser. I don't I don't need that. The 46-year-old said, seemingly addressing Tommy Lee's post about Rock's antics being the only reason why the performance went viral. Krishan was definitely someone that I invited from afar as like a, a younger sister. Braxton said, Krishan is like a little sister to all of us watching her and then watch her make mistakes. We want to help. Because she, too, was in the spotlight at a young age. The vocalist has empathy for the new mother's situation and wanted to allow her to prove her growth and true character to the community. Unfortunately for everyone involved, that obviously didn't go as planned. She was somebody I wanted to meet, to possibly take under my wing, Tamar went on. And I just feel like I can't make nobody happy. While she did not invite her sibling to perform at the show, the My Man singer did suggest that Rock join in on the twerk off they do at each show while her vibe single plays. This appears to be where things went awry, resulting in the crazy and love starlet's annoyance. Janelle ended up with a bloody nose and had to go to the hospital. Chrysian has since faced a barrage of criticism for her alleged actions. People are enraged and labeling her entitled because her beef began when she learned she would not be performing. This has been a whirlwind, and Chrysian clearly understands the gravity of the situation. She recently announced on Twitter that she was deactivating all of her social media accounts. She also stated that she wishes to change her phone number and address. This is all happening very quickly, despite the fact that Chrysian is known to be impulsive. Finally, the backlash appears to be weighing heavily on her. She like, lie again, lie again, and James like, no, nobody knew. Chrysian Rock has spoken out about the alleged assault on James Wright Chanel during Tamara Braxton's weekend concert. And she hit James right in his face, chipped James' tooth. The victim is now providing us with some insight into his point of view, though he did not specifically name the new mother as his attacker. After everything happened in Baltimore on Friday, Wright went live to confirm that at least some of the rumors were true. Child, I was the innocent wife. <laughs> Braxton's backup singer said of his involvement in the blowout. He laughed while delivering the news, noting that it's important to still find the joy and humor in things if possible. I don't know what be wrong with people. I really don't. I really don't. He reflected Chanel was most likely referring to Rock's decision to allegedly punch him in the face after learning she wouldn't be performing at Tamara's concert. In other news, Latroy, a member of Braxton's team who broke one of the first stories about the drama, responded to Rock's video denying any wrongdoing with a screenshot of his text conversation with someone from her management. Hey Latroy, nice to meet you. Tamara had told Chrysian that she wanted to bring her out tonight, the latter confirmed. No matter how far Chrysian Rock pushes the boundaries of others, there always seem to be some of her fans willing to back her up. From constantly reconciling with Blueface to allegedly punching James Wright Chanel at Tamara Braxton's concert, Tamara Braxton has had it all. Rock appears to be able to talk her way out of any situation, frequently failing to accept responsibility for her role in the drama. The black-haired beauty's weekend started off on a high note after having her fake tooth resealed at the dentist. But as it comes to an end today, she's found herself defending her behavior at the R&B icon's show to the masses. After perfecting her smile, Rock attended French Montana's birthday party, where she partied with him and other celebrities. That event appeared to go off without a hitch, but the same cannot be said for the live performance the mother of one saw in her hometown on Friday night. According to initial reports, Chrysian and Tamara misunderstood whether the younger artist would be joining her on stage to perform. When she was unable to perform one of her songs in front of the audience, Rock allegedly reacted by punching Wright several times, sending him to the hospital. I don't get disrespectful till you get disrespectful. The reality starlet wrote in a since-deleted tweet. While going live, she further addressed the situation. I don't know what's going on, and why popping like I'm not just a female, she vented. The clout-chasing shit is getting out of hand. It was nothing between me and Tamar. I don't know, it was just like wicked stuff started happening. Please don't believe the false narrative, I had a great time last night, Chrissy and Rock wrote in a tweet on Saturday afternoon. I gotta work on not giving my energy and clout to my enemies, she later reflected on Sunday morning. Plan and work hard for and assault them, and I'm letting it go. Reports of physical violence between Rock and James Wright began circulating on various blogs on Friday evening. 
According to sources, Tamara Braxton invited the 23-year-old to appear as a guest performer on her live show last night. She was unreachable when it came time for her to move on. As a result, showrunners were forced to skip Rock's song and move on to Braxton's next guest. When the Baltimore native missed her cue, she was out front attempting to get her friend inside the venue. So I want everybody to let Croissant know, Croissant, whoever she is. Chrysian went backstage to find out more information, and when she entered Tamara's dressing room, she spoke with Wright. The reality starlet allegedly punched him in the face several times during the man's explanation because she thought he was lying to her. You do not come to my show and assault people. The Braxton Family Values cast member was reportedly in the room at the time, and police were called. Before they could speak with Rock there, she had already fled and was posting videos on her Instagram story of her iced out wrist and fingers, which were likely sore from throwing a few right hooks. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.